Hi Aquarius, welcome back to Karma Thoughts. I'm going to be doing your read for the month of October. We're going to look at the energy, uh, general energy for the month, and we're going to look at your career and finances, and then we're going to look at your love life. So I like to remind you guys that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. If it does not resonate and you would like a private reading, um, the directions for that are in the box below. And also you can look at the other signs and placements in your chart because those readings may resonate for you a little better. When you subscribe to the channel and you hit that little like button, it does kind of create a little bit of a energetic exchange between you and I. And energy would also help me to pick up on your energy directly. So please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Helps us both. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here. Spirit, can you show me the energy, general energy for the month of October for Aquarius? Okay. Nine of Wands. Two of Wands in reverse. Seven of Swords in reverse. And the Hierophant in reverse. Okay. Show me career for Aquarius, please. Career and finances. Nine of Swords, Three of Pentacles in reverse, the Empress in reverse, and the Ace of Wands in the reverse. And love for Aquarius for the month of October, please. King of Wands, King of Cups in the reverse, Page of Pentacles, the Chariot and the High Priestess. Okay. All right, so the bottom of the deck, we do have a tower in reverse. So something may have happened here, um, Aquarius, that has affected you. You may be in recovery for something. Um, something occurred here that kind of uprooted your world. All right, so let's have three cards to guide Aquarius, please. Put on this one back. All right, let's see what we have. Yeah, something you're coming out of. I see that. All right. All right, so... In your general um, energy, Aquarius, we have rising above. So there's something here, some kind of a tower moment that has occurred in the past that you're kind of trying to put the pieces back together. Something rocked your world. And I see that you are trying to come out of that energy, trying to rise above it. Um, and that is Spirit's guidance for you to rise above that. Um, I do know that you kind of enter into the month feeling, you know, pretty worn out. Um, the Nine of Wands is like the wounded warrior. Um, kind of feeling like you just want to give up on things. Um, whatever this is has really kind of brought you to your knees a little bit. But I see that with the Two of Wands in reverse, I do see that you're kind of at a crossroads. You're trying to determine what direction to take next. Um, we also have the Seven of Swords in reverse. So there was something that was deceptive here that came out. And it did create, um, it did create some kind of a, a breakup of sorts. Um, now that could be something in your, your financial world or that could be something in your, your love life. Um, we'll see. But there was a separation of ways. Um, some kind of a commitment ended here. And it ended because of a deception that came out. So I don't know if that was on your behalf or on the behalf of someone else, but it did end a commitment. And it's left you kind of um, kind of worn out and feeling like you're not sure which direction to take. So let's get clarification. Why is the Nine of Wands here for Aquarius? Why is the Nine of Wands here for Aquarius? If this hasn't happened, it, it will happen. Um, in the month of October.
So we have the Ten of Wands in reverse, and yeah, we have the Three of Wands, or Three of Heart, Three of Swords in reverse. Yeah, so something happened. It rocked your world. It included some kind of deception. It, it hurt you as well. But I see that you are now beginning to recover from that. You're starting to let it go. You're starting to, um, you know, recover from the pain of it. And healing is taking place. Why is the Two of Wands here? Knight of Cups. Yeah, so you have the Knight of Cups in reverse. You're not feeling very loving towards someone. Um, you still love them, but you're holding back. There's definitely a holding back here. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay. So Aquarius, that's you showing up, but you're pissed. You're pissed about some kind of a deception here. It's caused you to kind of withdraw your love a little bit. You're not sure which direction to take. Why is the Hierophant in reverse here? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so there's, and you may be dealing with an earth sign. You don't have to be. If you are, that would be a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Um, but there is an ending to this. And Taurus in particular, because the Hierophant is also um, indicative of Taurus. So, um, yeah, there's some something here. Now, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse can sometimes be a, a spouse that is unfaithful because the King and Queen of Pentacles are the stable um, married couple of the Tarot. Um, so there could have been some kind of, um, infidelity here that caused the end of this, this relationship. If so, the, that's where your deception would come from. Um, the pain, the hurt, this tower moment. And I can see here that it's really caused, caused you to close your heart off a little bit here, Aquarius. And I see that you're very angry about it as well. The deception in particular has made you become very angry and I feel like you're you're closing your heart a little bit now this could be energy that you are currently in it could be energy that is yet to happen it may happen during October or it could have been in the past but um, spirit is guiding you to rise above these energies to let these burdens go allow your heart to heal and to rise above this um, now, in your career and finance, you're being guided to cherish yourself, to really put your attention into self-care, accepting and loving yourself. So you have the Nine of Swords, and I see, again, a lot of, you know, there's been a lot of concern and a lot of lost sleep, actually, over finances. We have the Three of Pentacles in reverse, so... You know, you may have had a loss of finances or even a loss of a job. Um, and that has caused you to really be in a high state of anxiety. But it's also caused you to doubt yourself and to not really recognize your own worth. There's a feeling here that with regard to your career and finances that things just are not working out. And instead of trying to figure out why they're not working out, what I see is that you're kind of blaming yourself. And that's not going to be helpful to you. So, you know, Spirit is guiding you to, to redirect that and to really accept and love yourself in this situation and through this situation. Because I definitely see some loss here. It could have been a loss of, of a job even. Um, if that's the case, you do have something that is on the verge of coming forward, um, but you have to recognize your own worth before that's going to happen. You do have in your outcome the Ace of Wands, um, but it is in reverse. It's like it's on hold. So let's clarify here. Why is the Nine of Swords here for Aquarius? Oh, wow. Yeah, so you it's clarified by the Nine of Swords. <laughs> So yeah, this, whatever has happened here with your career and finances, I see you are extremely, extremely upset about. And it might be that this severing of a relationship here had to do with the severing of a relationship at work too. Um, or these could be separate incidents. Um, yeah, so if that's the case, 
if this was work related instead of a relationship, whatever happened here, something was deceptive. And, you know, if, if this is, you know, your work, re work situation, something was deceptive. And I feel as if it terminated your relationship with your work area, your whoever, you know, somebody at your work. And I feel like you're pissed about that. You're really pissed. And that's what you're going to have to rise above. Um, why is the three of pentacles here? Yeah, healing has to take place. It's left a very deep sense of imbalance for you. Why is the empress here? Why is the empress in reverse here? I do see an opportunity coming towards you, um, and it's going to come when you're you're least expecting it. It's something that you feel as if um, you you feel as if it was done. So, and and this is something. It, it looks almost like somebody's going to be calling you back. Um, this may be something you thought was over and done. So, it could be a former employer is going to be requesting you come back. Um, but something here is coming back to life. Something that you thought was over and done. Why is the Ace of Wands in reverse here? The Fool in reverse. Yeah. So, I do see that there is a, a brand new opportunity coming up. Something that you are passionate about, but you're afraid to take a leap of faith. You may be trying to open up a business yourself or do some kind of a, a side hustle. Um, and I feel like if that's the case, you're not really, um, you're, you're a little scared to take a leap of faith. You're not really willing to jump out there yet. So it's something though that there is a new beginning, something very, a passionate new beginning, something you're going to love doing, but you have to value yourself enough and, you know, allow yourself to take that leap of faith. And right now, that new beginning is on hold until you, you do that. So, yeah, I, it's unclear to me if, and it could be it's unclear because it's going two ways. But, I mean, at this point, a lot of you, this was job related. Something deceptive was done at your place of employment or to do with finances, and it caused a severance of that that job or that employment. You didn't see it coming, and you're pissed about it. It really hurt you too, but it left, and it also left you in a high state of anxiety. Um, I know that healing has to take place, but somebody is going to, somebody that you are already aware of in some fashion is going to offer you, make an offer to you. They're going to want you to, to come and either work for them or provide you an opportunity. In the meantime, though, I think that you have some ideas of your own, something you're passionate about, but you're afraid to take that leap of faith. So it's kind of on hold. Now, Let's look into your love life for October. So in October, we have um, Awakening Ancient Wisdom. Deep inner knowing is emerging within you. So, and this has to everything to do with love because that's that cup of love there. That's that Ace of Cups. So there's something here that, you know, Spirit is saying that you already have the answers to. Now, you have the King of Wands here. So I do think that you know, you are going to be stepping into your power and you're going to be taking proactive actions with regard to love. Um, I do think that other people are finding you very attractive. They're going to be very drawn towards you. And I think that you are kind of shining here. You're, you're really kind of, you know, you're, you're really drawing people towards you. We also have the King of Cups in reverse. So, Again, we see that you're kind of closing yourself off. Um, this it's a it's a kind of a hardening of the heart kind of thing. Um, not really not really offering your love in any one direction. Um, but we do have the page of Pentacles, so 
I feel like there is an offer that you are going to want to make. Um, it will probably be towards the end of October and it's going to be a very small offer. It's not going to be big. It might just be, you know, hey, let's go out. Um, or it could just be something very small, very small, but stable. And I do see that that offer is going to move things forward for you. But you definitely, you're being guided to move this forward. It's really on your shoulders to do that. You're being guided to, to tap into your own intuition and to move this forward. So let's clarify this. All right, why does Aquarius have the King of Wands? Well, yeah, it's going to make you very happy. Um, I see you going out. I see you, um, you know, going out with friends and enjoying yourself. So, and people are going to be highly attracted to you. Why is the King of Cups in reverse here? We have the Two of pentacles in reverse. So you're going to have to be making some decisions. You don't want to make these decisions. And I feel like, honestly, I feel like the decision is whether or not you're going to open up your heart or not. And I feel like you don't want to be put in a position to make those decisions, but you already know what you want. It's in, it's in you already. You're in two different places here at the beginning and the end of this um, pull for your love life. We have spirit telling you to trust your intuition. Why is the page of pentacles here for Aquarius? Ooh, the Hierophant. So this small offer could very well lead to a commitment. And can I get two cards? There we go, one and two. Um, yeah, it could lead to a commitment and you're being guided that, um, to use your intuition to move things forward. Um, there is a clearing up of confusion here, but be careful because you do have the magician in reverse and sometimes that can be a little bit of a trickster. And so make sure that everything that you're seeing here is what it appears to be. Um, because, you know, the magician in reverse is sometimes a little, little tricky. So, and if that's the case, use your intuition about moving this forward. You don't want to, um, you don't want to move it forward in a way that's going to cause you difficulties. So, but I think that, you know, using your intuition is going to, to really settle all of that anyway. Because Spirit is guiding you that you already have the answers within yourself. Alright, so at the bottom of the deck, we do have the, um, the Six of Swords in reverse. So, I know that whatever this tower moment that you experienced left you feeling really defeated. I can see that it really kind of rocked your, your ability to view yourself in a successful light. Um, and so I don't feel like you're really trusting your own value right now, Aquarius, to the depth that you should. Um, and you're second guessing yourself. So there's something here you want to get started. I don't know if it's a side hustle, if it's going back to school, if it's, you know, a different job. There's something, though, that you definitely have some passion for. It's on hold until you take that leap of faith. In the meantime, um, I do see that there was a severing of something. I believe that had to do with work. I don't believe it was in this relationship because I don't see you really attached to any one particular person. Um, but I do feel like you've kind of closed your heart off a lot. And, you know, healing is going to have to take place with that. There was deception I believe this was work-related. There was deception in this work-related thing. It caused a termination. It caused an ending, probably an ending of employment, definitely losses, and it has really, really wrung you out. Um, Spirit is saying that you have to recognize your value. You have to cherish yourself and now rise above all of this because better days are coming for sure. Okay? So I hope this has been helpful to you, Aquarius. 
Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. That does set up an energetic link between us, and that's helpful. And like and share the video so other Aquarius individuals can see the reading, and it might be helpful to them. And until I see you next time, namaste.